we have really, really been looking forward to getting a livestock guardian dog. It's going to be different for us because we've only ever had inside dogs. And this, we feel, is going to give us a lot of peace and security as long as we can train this livestock guardian dog upright. So let's go. It's going to be a long trip. Bye, Jack Black. Bye, Patty. Bye, Leah. How do you feel about having an outside dog? It would be cool just to go outside and see a dog. You have one inside and then one outside. So then when you're like feeding the animals out, then you could like go and pet her. And I think it's cool because then we wouldn't have to worry about like the sheep so much. And then also I think it's cool like when she gets like almost fully grown, we're gonna just let her roam the property and protect all the animals. So that's pretty cool too. finally made it. Um, it's about 11.30. We're going to get a good night's rest and spend some time with family and then go pick up that puppy. Good night. Good night. All right, you guys. I have to go milk the goats. And yes, my husband and I are still married, even though he got these ducks. They're pretty sweet. And we have been actually, we've had like, um, predator pressure and so we've been losing some ducks um I don't know what it is if it's like if it's a raccoon or I'm not sure but something's definitely been getting our ducks we're replenishing right next time maybe he'll tell me what he's doing he likes to keep me on my toes anyway I'm I'm heading out to go feed the to go feed the goats and also to go milk the goats you want to go milk the goats? Yeah. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah, I want okay. to. Now we drag. Thank you. And another one for the I got, I got. Okay, and I I'll just use one, use one for my hands because. All right. Oh, she has a ton of milk. Her yeah. others are like broken. She's very really full. We separated the baby so we see that. And I get them a the little hay to calm them down, but they're not. We're just milking. Make sure to not let her get those cooks in it. And we'll have to feed it to the dog. Or the baby. So, so Erin is gone with Cade. To get the puppy. Yep, they went to, to get the Lily puppy. the puppy. We're going to name her Lily. And I'm actually really excited about this puppy. Um, cause we've been losing, like I said earlier, like we've been losing some ducks and we just have had a little more predator pressure than we normally have. And so it'd be good to get a livestock guardian dog to get out there and help protect things and help, you know, it will just be nice to have everything protected. So I, that's actually the first dog that I wanted before Daisy. I was like, oh, you should get a livestock guardian dog. Like, I've always wanted one. 
Um, I know it's going to be a different type of training and um, she's not going to be an inside dog, but it's going to be awesome. Um, this is us back home all. They're getting the dog, so I'm just milking the goats. Wake up, buddy. <laughs> it has been a lot of traveling. We're only halfway done, but we are excited uh, to finally get this puppy and bring them back to our farm. That is gonna be a long journey too with the little puppy and taking lots of potty breaks. But we are excited. This is a opportunity for us to have a little bit more safety and security for our animals on our farm. Um, and we're excited to start this journey with this little tiny livestock guardian dog that will be a big old protector for our animals on our farm. So, I right guess you're ready to meet our new little tiny puppy. She's real fast, Are they getting him? Are they getting him? She doesn't mind him until they're like nipping her face. <laughs> yeah, you give me kisses. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. No. Taking her potty before getting the car. It is incredibly windy here. The problem I already know that we're gonna have is treating it like a livestock guardian dog and not like a house dog. It's gonna take a totally different mentality. Um, having an outside dog that just lives with our animals is gonna be a little bit tough, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna learn as we go. We've watched tons of videos, uh, a lot of. Goldshaw Farm videos, uh, Greg Judy videos on how to raise a livestock guardian dog. And uh, we're excited for this journey. For the puppy to come home. They're gonna be home in like five hours. We're not, we're, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. So we're taking a cattle panel and we're making it into a circle and we're zip tying the sides together with our trusty zip ties. Huh. These things are thick. I mean, they're not your I know. So then we can move it out in the pasture. So anyway, it'll be good. I'll show you. All right. <laughs> It's just taking a lot of leg strength. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're gonna move her out, baby. Tight. And then do the same on the bottom, and then we'll just reinforce it once we have these two. her new pin. It's like a teardrop. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that.
Okay, we're on the road again. That is not snow that you're seeing. We're driving through the Bonneville Salt Flats. This is kind of the last thing that we're going to see <laughs> that has any interest to it before we go in Nevada. Sorry, Nevada, the part we drive through, there's not a lot of scenery. So the Bonneville Salt Flats, this is just a really flat area where water um, will collect and evaporate. And so there's just this really, really concentrated mineral deposit here. I'm not really sure what kind of salts it is, but you can see it's just completely flat. Cars are driving out on it, no problem. There are these little pockets of uh, water. <laughs> Cade, you tried it, how did it taste? Very, 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 salty. very salty. So, like, it went like you know how you take a pinch of salt, and taste it. I just dip my finger in and taste it, and it tastes super salty. And as you can see, we're just enjoying. This little girl's presence. Lily, so far, who's been a trooper, will show whatever scenery is left on the way home. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So you can see more of this little <laughs> girl. There's going to be lots of adventures with Lily. Taking a little break in Elko, we found there is grass in Nevada. Pretty nervous. We didn't prepare for this weather at all. I am wearing shorts and sandals. We left California, it was 80 degrees. Whatever Utah it was pretty cool, but uh, we didn't expect that we we're gonna come back through the pass with the dog in a snowstorm. So we're careful and we're making it and we're praying hard. And we're focusing, and uh, so far it's fine. Uh, once we get a little bit down the mountain and things start to warm up a little bit, we should be fine. We're just following these trucks, um, making sure there's a path for our wheels. It looks like the road is still wet, um, so we're just taking our time. But we do want to beat the sunset so it doesn't start getting super freezing temperatures. All right, guys. We're, we're doing fine so far. We're okay. We're nervous, but we're okay. That's fine. Looks like we got some clear skies just after we said that, so still gotta be careful. <coughs> but that's a good sign. No more snow. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful after you get out of that crazy snow. Come on. 